Hey everybody, tonight I thought I'd do a review of my Springfield Armory 1911. And uh, you know what, this is the first 1911 I bought myself, the first one I've ever owned, and I just love it. And now that I've got about 3,000 rounds through it, I figured I'd show you what kind of condition it's in and how well it's holding up. I have to say, I'm really impressed. This is the uh, 1911 A1 Custom from Springfield Armory in Odie Green. The coating is an armory coat. It is chambered in 45 ACP. The magazine can hold 7, so you get 7 plus 1. The barrel is 5 inches. The sights are actually no back sights on it. And the trigger pull is around 5 pounds on this, and I haven't had any custom work done to it. It's like it was from the factory, except for the guide rod. I did buy a new guide rod from Springfield Armory to replace the old one as the old uh, bushing for the guide rod was not the barrel bushing but the uh, but the bushing up here was kinda wearing out a little bit and had some wear on it so I bought a, a new one and it seems to be back to perfect working order since then the one I did replace it with too is also a match grade and it's actually a little tighter than the other one was but it still works great so, just to kind of go over some of the features of the gun here. Like I said, it has the Novak sights on it. It has the skeletonized trigger and the skeletonized hammer. It's got the uh, extended beaver tail on it. These are the factory grips that came with it. You can see a little wear on the screws there. But, other than that, I mean, they're fine. It's got the uh, ambidextrous safety on it and uh, it's also the extended safety and just for reference this gun is unloaded as you can see there as you can also see and as I was saying earlier the only thing I've replaced is the guide rod and the uh, guide rod bushing on there everything else is original that's the original barrel bushing and everything else and I mean just look at how good this coatings holding up I mean there's no nicks, no scratches in it. I do not carry this gun. Uh, it's just a little too heavy for me. I carry a smaller 1911 or I carry my XD or I even have a Walther PPK that I carry in the summertime. So, But just to go over some of the wear points and where we're actually seeing some wear on this. If you look in here and it's kinda hard for the camera to see you can kind of see some wear on the bottom rails here and you can see some wear in there which is all perfectly normal but I mean for having 3000 ish rounds through this gun I mean it's holding up great and also another wear point you usually see a lot of wear down at the bottom of the barrel and I mean this barrel is black and just to see a little bit of metal like that after that many rounds I mean that's fantastic so I'm I'm loving it still and uh, I, I hope to continue loving it it also features the uh, front serrations and back serrations and it has serrations on the back part back strap here and then it's just smooth in the front of the hand grip but as I said, I just wanted to show it off, kind of do a quick review on it, and just show good, show how good it's holding up. So I hope that was informative, and I hope you enjoyed it. Later.